Binghamton's Chris Egan won the men's one meter with a score of 288.85. The sophomore swept both diving events this weekend. We're here with the Binghamton men's one meter top four finishers. Congrats to all of you. That can be hard, but you guys did it. Chris, I want to start with you. Congrats on sweeping the one meter and the three meter. Talk about just those two events for you. Uh, I started this year not too comfortable on three, and I sort of made it my like thing to try to like uh, get as much time as I can on the board and try to get as comfortable up there as possible. And I'm happy it really worked out. And I tried to maintain the same thing on one, to be confident, positive the whole way through. And I guess it worked out. Yeah. Now you've got the prelims and the finals. You got to stay consistent. How do you train and prepare for that? Um, I think everybody's different. You know, everybody has their own little techniques. For me, I try to just clear my head. I don't listen to music. I actually sing it, dance sometimes, but just keep my mind off of actually what I'm about to do. You know, that's what works for me actually. Now you got some quite a bit of time before between each of your dives. Well, how do you prepare when you got minutes before, even like 10, 15 minutes before you got your next dive? It's just one of those things to kind of, you want to clear your head and just get, almost prepare your mind before you prepare your body a little bit. Cause with, cause I always say that diving, it's about 50% your mentality going into the board. So if you clear your mind, then once you get up there, you're just ready for it. And now once this, your swim, swim, swimming teammates come in, you get that energy, they're cheering you on. How do you kind of build off of that when you've got your teammates there with you? Um, it's so awesome because especially here at Binghamton, everyone's one. Swim and dive team are together. And it's just so nice to be on such a supportive team because it just makes happy diving is good diving, I say sometimes. And I just think that that's what the swimmers bring to the event. Well, thank you, congrats to all of you, and have fun for the rest of the time here. Thank you. That's a better picture. New Hampshire's Anna Metzler set her third consecutive conference record. The sophomore won the 400 IM in a time of 4.11.56. I'm here with New Hampshire's Anna Metzler. Anna, congratulations on your third consecutive record. Thank you very much. Last time we talked with you, you mentioned there may be an opportunity to break more records. What was going through your mind during that last race? Um, it was just wanted to go fast. I wanted to like make it, improve my time, and yeah, just race. How will you use your win as motivation for the rest of the meet? Um, it just shows me that there's a lot in me that I can like push and continue to like do awesome. <laughs> Maybe an opportunity for more broken records? We will see. Anna, again, congratulations. Best of luck at the rest of the meet. Thank you very much. Kai Wisner of UMBC captured first place for the second straight year in the men's 400 IM with a time of 354.81. Stony Brook senior Michelle Lieberman earned gold in the 100 butterfly with a time of 54.24. Satoru Dabi of UMBC touched the wall in 48-34, capturing first place. Caitlin Smoller of Binghamton captured gold in the 200 free with a time of 151-51. UMBC's Ilya Retsev earned another gold this weekend in the 200 free, making it his third straight 200 free title, clocking in at 137-34. Jamie Lum of New Hampshire took first in the women's 100 breaststroke with a time of 101-39 while Binghamton's Ryan Board set a new meet record in the 100 breaststroke with a time of 54.97. Melissa Dingle of New Hampshire defended her title in the 100 backstroke and touched the wall in 55.58. Garrett Wachowski of UMBC captured gold with a time of 48.59. The New Hampshire Wildcats set a new 400 medley relay conference record with a time of 340.72 and UMBC's men's 400 medley relay repeated as champions with a time of 315.54. After day three through 28 events, the women's standings is led by New Hampshire with 574 points, followed by UMBC with 517.5 points and Binghamton with 365.5 points. The men's standings is led by UMBC with 721 points Binghamton in second place with 601 points, followed by Maine with 388 points.